What's going on there, YouTube, and welcome back to another comic book video. Okay, so we are going to continue our coverage over X-Men comics as we work our way up to Days of Future Present, the next crossover that we are going to talk about very soon on this channel. But first, we must jump over to Excalibur once again, and now we pick up with Cross Time Caper. Cross Time Caper is a story arc where we see our heroes traveling across the multiverse thanks to one small device known as widget you see when it comes to widget he has the ability to open up portals once he is powered up by the phoenix now around his time in x-men comics the phoenix was rachel summers but when it comes to widget once he is powered up he is able to open up portals to allow our heroes to travel across the multiverse now when it comes to widget unfortunately He's not able to decide which universe they're going to travel to. It's completely random. And so when it comes to our heroes, they have been trying to get back to the main Marvel Universe. Now, in our last video, one of the members was able to get back to the main Marvel Universe, and that would be Kitty Pride. You see, when it came to Widget, he was able to open up a portal to protect Kitty Pride, which allowed her to go back into the main Marvel Universe. But unfortunately, the rest of Excalibur was unable to follow her. Matter of fact, they have no idea that she was able to get back home to their reality. And so the rest of the team is still traveling across the multiverse just trying their best to get back home and so getting into today's video we do pick up with kitty pride of this new reality that we are going to explore now when it comes to kitty pride she's watching over excalibur as they travel across the multiverse now the only reason why she's able to do this is because of magic you see when it comes to magic iliana she is the demon sorceress who gave her the ability to watch over excalibur and they're trying to bring excalibur into this reality and so you have magic being able to send an image over to Excalibur to begin the process of bringing them into this reality but before we are able to see that we didn't see Doug Ramsey of this reality walk into the room to inform Kitty Pride and also magic that the Justicers are on their way right now to arrest Kitty and everyone else in the building. And so now we know that the Justicers are basically police officers of this reality. But now we are able to skip over to Excalibur. Now, when it comes to Excalibur, like I said, they're traveling across the multiverse, but we pick up with Alistair Stewart, who is trying his best to understand how Widget works so that he'll be able to get Widget to take them back home to their reality. But the problem is, when it comes to Widget, it is not like how aggressive Alistair is. But on top of that, it is not like the idea of being left alone because it grew a bond with Kitty and without Kitty being around it feels lonely now let's not forget when it came to magic of that other reality she did send an image over to Excalibur of Kitty Pride to bring our heroes over to that reality and so when an image appears and you have Widget see it he's all like oh my god that's Kitty and she must be in that reality let's go there right now and so as soon as you have Rachel Summers be being able to power up Widget, our heroes are now traveling into that other reality. Now, getting back over to the other Earth, we do pick up with Kitty Pride about to be arrested by the Justicers. And the reason why, because apparently Kitty Pride in this reality is a crime lord, and she has to pay for a lot of crimes that she had committed. Now, when it comes to the Justicers, they're being led by a character known as Bull. Now, when it comes to Bull, we do learn down the road that she's actually part of the Captain Britain Corps, a multiverse team of Captain Britons. But when it comes to Bull, she wants to arrest Kitty Pride right on the spot. Now, you have Doug trying his best to say that no, Kitty Pride is actually innocent and your warrant is just complete BS. Now, while you have the two sides arguing, well, well, that is the moment a portal opens up and out of nowhere you have Excalibur arrive with their train crashing to the home of Kitty Pride. 
Now, after our heroes had crashed through the home of Kitty Pride, you then have Captain Britain realize that she has been thrown out of the tower. And so he goes out of his way to save her because all he sees is a Kitty Pride falling to her death, but also realize that this Kitty Pride is not able to use her abilities. Now, when it comes to Captain Britain, while trying to save Kitty, he is shot from behind by Bull. Now, when it comes to Megan, she sees her man falling to his death, and she wants to go out her way to save his life. Except, as soon as she gets outside, that is when she realizes the air is heavily polluted and it does damage to her body. It burns her and so now she's also falling to her death because the pollution is slowly burning away her body. But now we jump back over to Nightcrawler, who's still inside the tower. Now when it comes to Nightcrawler, he's confronted by this reality's version of himself and that would be Cadbury, another police officer that works under Bull. Now when it comes to Cadbury, he's freaking out because he sees Nightcrawler, somebody who looks just like him but a demon, or well, looks like a demon. Either way, you have Bull and Cadbury being able to take down Nightcrawler and arrest him. Now there are two big laws in this reality. If you are somebody that looks mutated, you automatically get arrested and sent over to to a camp but if you are somebody that has powers you get an even worse consequence and I'll explain why down the road in this video and so when it comes to Nightcrawler he has to get arrested because the way he looks now he didn't show them that he has powers but again he still has to get arrested because the way he looks. Now, when it comes to magic, she tells the officers, you can go now because you cannot arrest me, nor Doug, nor Rachel, nor Alistair. And the reason why? Because we look normal. And on top of that, we didn't show that we have any kinds of abilities at all, which means you have no right to arrest us. You came here for Kitty, but now she's gone. And the only person you can arrest is him. Nightcrawler and so you have the officers leave with Nightcrawler but they still want to come back here to get magic and the rest of the crew. Now when it comes to Captain Britain he's still falling to his death and matter of fact he says he can't fly for unknown reasons. Now he's still trying to save Kitty Pride, but he realized that he's about to hit the ground very hard. Now he has no idea that Megan is also falling to her death. He doesn't know just yet but he will find out very soon. Now, when it comes to Captain Britain, he feels like they are about to hit the ground very hard, except they don't hit the ground. They hit a river that has been also heavily polluted as well. You have all these different kinds of creatures just swimming around that should not be there at all. Now, when it comes to Captain Britain, once he's able to get to the surface, you then have Megan crash into the river and again her body is still burning because of pollution that's how her body works if the air is so affected by pollution she's going to burn up and so right now with her being in the water also being polluted is killing her slowly as well and captain britain has no choice but to find a safe spot for her and him and kitty pride and so he grabs both ladies and jump out of the river now, getting back over to Nightcrawler, when it comes to Kurt, we see him on trial. Now, for Kurt, he believes that he should have a fair trial here. And honestly, he should because he's innocent. He had no idea what laws he broke when he arrived in this reality. And matter of fact, he's from a different reality. He should not have to follow the laws that you have in your own reality if he has no idea what laws they are. But when it comes to court and when it comes to Bull, she says no. The court and I had already decided that you are guilty. That you are guilty for the crimes that you had committed because you are mutated. And so you have to be thrown into prison for the crimes that you had committed. Now, when it comes to Nightcrawler, he does arrive into a transport that is going to take him over to a nearby camp. Except, as soon as he arrives onto this transport, he hears a young woman screaming out for help. 
and this reality has a Megan, and he just found her. Now, let's not forget, in the earlier parts of Excalibur, when it came to the main Marvel Universe version of Megan, Nightcrawler and her were getting very close when she almost got, well, left behind by Captain Britain. But unfortunately, she got back with Captain Britain. And so for Nightcrawler, when he finds another Megan in this reality, he's kind of like, oh my God, it's another Megan who has gone through so much and she needs somebody in her corner and I can be that guy. But this is also Nightcrawler saying like, hey, I still have feelings for my Megan from my reality. Now, getting back over to Captain Britain, he is trying his best to protect himself, but to also protect Kitty Pride and Megan. Now, he is fighting against an army of creatures where at first he is able to handle this kind of situation. But the problem is, as the battle goes on, the tougher the battle gets to the point where he begins to lose the battle. Now, luckily for him, you have Megan jump in because Megan has the ability to shapeshift. And so her body changes forms into a form where she will be able to withstand the pollution in the air to allow her to fight alongside with Captain Britain. Now while you have our two heroes being able to take down all the creatures, they are then able to shift their focus over to Kitty Pride. The problem is Kitty Pride is about to die because of the fall earlier. But before she does die, she does tell Captain Britain that she was pushed out of the building by her best friend Magic. And so now we know our heroes must go stop magic for the crimes that she had committed, which is murder. Now, getting back over to Kitty Pryde's tower, we do pick up with Rachel Summers. And you have Rachel right now going through some kind of illness. But luckily, she is being watched over by Alistair. Now, let's not forget that Alistair does have feelings for Rachel Summers. But when it comes to Alistair, he has to remind Rachel that she has to get better because she is the only person who can activate Widget to open up a portal that would then allow them to go back to their reality. Now, when it comes to Rachel and Alistair, they're then confronted by magic. And this is where we come to find out that magic wants to be the ruler of this reality. But on top of that, she feels like Alistair can help her achieve that goal because of his scientific mind. Now, getting back over to Nightcrawler, he is trying to break free from the transport that's about to take him over to a nearby camp. Now, he's also able to free Megan as well. Now, while you have the two characters trying to get away, well, Nightcrawler does not realize that one of the guards is about to shoot him right in the back. And so you have Megan going out of her way to protect Nightcrawler. But here's the problem. She was hit with that bullet. Now, this is a special kind of bullet where usually if you're hit by it you are going to die there's no way around it and so for nightcrawler he has to hold megan of this reality in his arms and watch her die but once again it's nightcrawler losing the woman that he supposedly loves now, this chapter does get wrapped up very quickly here because we jump back over to Rachel, Alistair, and also Magic. Now, when it comes to Alistair, he's the one member of Excalibur that has no powers at all. He can't do anything, but you do have Rachel trying her best to save him, but unfortunately, she's still sick from her illness, and so she is easily taken out by Magic. Now, you have Nightcrawler also appear as well, and you then have Megan also appear. Really? you have all the different characters come back together minus kitty pride of this reality coming together to hopefully bring down magic now at first they do believe that they were able to take her down but then she released her dark child side you see back in the main marvel universe we came to our magic she had this evil version of herself inside called the dark child and the dark child was supposed to be the ruler of limbo and so in this reality we're seeing magic turn into the dark child side of her who is right now trying to wipe out all our heroes and you do have captain britain also arrive but luckily for our heroes they do get some reinforcements 
You see, we kind of find out that in this reality, Brian Braddock and also Bessie Braddock are the people in charge of this reality. They were the ones who had decided to outlaw all kinds of superheroes, to outlaw all kinds of mutations, because apparently there was a big war between superheroes and there were a lot of lives lost. And so for our two characters here, they felt like the best option was to outlaw any kind of superpower beings in any kind of way. Now they do appear at the right time to help out our heroes heroes to take down magic. Now once they're able to take her down, you then have our heroes be able to move on to their next stop as they travel across the multiverse. But now, as we get into the next chapter, we do pick up with Excalibur continuing to travel across the multiverse. Now, while doing that, they are then confronted by an image of Opal Saturnine. Now, this is the Opal Saturnine that's actually in charge of the multiverse, of watching over the multiverse. And she says, listen... You guys have been traveling across multiple realities and causing a lot of problems in those realities. I need you guys to go ahead and head over to the Omniversal Hub so that we can send you home properly. But on top of that, I am going to deal with the Phoenix problem because she still looks at the Phoenix as a cosmic threat to the multiverse and she wants to get rid of that problem. And that means Rachel might go bye-bye. Now we jump back over to the main Marvel Universe where we pick up with Kitty Pride. Now remember, Kitty Pride is the only person on Excalibur that was able to give back to the main Marvel Universe. But she is freaking out about the idea that Excalibur might not be able to give back to this reality. Because to her, that means she lost another family. She is talking about the X-Men as well. You see, when it comes to the X-Men around this point in time, in Marvel Comics, the world believes that the X-Men are dead because back in Fall of the Mutants, you had the X-Men give up their lives on live television to stop the adversary. And so when they did that, the entire world believed that the X-Men had died that day, not knowing that the X-Men were brought back to life soon after. And so for Kitty and many others, they believe that the X-Men are dead, not knowing they are alive. And so for her, when it it comes to Excalibur being lost in the multiverse, she feels like she lost another family. Now, when it comes to Kitty, she has been staying at the home of Captain Britain, but staying with Courtney Ross. Now, really, this is not Courtney Ross. This is Opal Saturnine from another reality, who's right now pretending to be Courtney Ross. And remember, Courtney Ross was the ex-girlfriend to Captain Britain, but now she's dead, and you have this version of Opal Saturnine, ooh, had a hard time saying that, but this version of Opal Saturnine pretending to be Courtney Ross for unknown reasons. Now we also come to find out that it's Kitty Pryde's 16th birthday, it's time to celebrate and so you have opal tell kitty nah we are going out for your birthday let's go now getting back over to excalibur when they do arrive at the hub their main goal is to figure out how to hide the phoenix so that rachel is able to go back with them to their reality and nightcrawler realized that opal saturnine is not a telepath which means that she can't read their minds and so nightcrawler realized if we are able to give rachel a disguise where no one's going to notice it's really her then she'll be able to go with us and so you have nightcrawler give her a wig and outfit to look like Kitty Pride, to pretend to be Shadowcat so that she'll go with them back to their reality when it's time to go home. Now, back on the main Marvel Universe, we do see Courtney Ross continuing to get Kitty Pride ready for her big birthday celebration. So first, she takes Kitty over to a nearby tailor to get Kitty a nice outfit for the night. And then after that, you have Courtney take Kitty to a very nice London restaurant, a very high class restaurant. Now when it comes to Kitty, she is nervous about the idea of going in, but you have Courtney being able to calm her down. 
Now, getting back over to Excalibur, they do arrive at the hub. Now, when they do arrive, they are confronted by an inspector. Now, this inspector, his main goal is to make sure that every single thing about Excalibur matches their records before being sent back home to their reality. We got to make sure that we are sending the right folks home. Now, when it comes to Nightcrawler, he passes very easily. Now, when it comes to Captain Britain and Megan, well, at first, they don't pass because their outfits had changed since the last time anyone had looked at their records. But, of course, he gives them a pass. Now, when it comes to Kitty Pride, which is Rachel Summers, he's like, wait a second, no, there's no way that you're Kitty Pride. One, you look older. Two, you look taller. And three, other body parts look different as well. What in the world is going on here? Now, you do have Rachel give him some lame excuse, which he does take, but he's very upset with the person in charge of records. And so those two guys begin to fight over the idea that the records could possibly be wrong. Now, when it comes to Captain Britain, he believes that he is able to sit down with Opal Saturnine to have a conversation to hopefully change her mind about Rachel Summers. Now, when it comes to Captain Britain, unfortunately, he's not able to reach Saturnine that easily because you need to have an appointment. If you don't have one, you can't see her. And so when it comes to Captain Britain, he does run into some of her guards. Now, after being able to deal with those guards, he then has to fight another version of himself once again. And honestly, it's the same thing for Nightcrawler as well, because when it comes to Nightcrawler, he does run into another member of the Captain Britain Corp. Now, luckily for Nightcrawler, he was saved by Megan because he was losing that sword battle very easily. And really, when it comes to the rest of the book, we continue to see our heroes continuing to fight against different members of the Captain Britain Corps and being able to take them down. Now, once our heroes were able to take them all down, you didn't have Widget being able to send an image of himself over to our heroes, seeming like he's in trouble. And right now, he's at the train still that our heroes use as a way to travel across the multiverse. And so you have our heroes rush back over to the train to see what's wrong with Widget. Now, once they do arrive back at the train, they are confronted by Saturnine, who tells them like, hey, listen, I was able to fix Widget, so now he should be able to get you guys back to your reality. But also, I want to say I can see clearly through the disguise of Rachel Summers. I know she's not Kitty Pride, but get this. I am going to let her go with you guys. I am going to pretend I didn't see anything and hopefully you guys are able to get the heck out of here fast enough before I change my mind. And so now our heroes have the ability to finally go back home to their reality. Now we do jump back over to Kitty Pride, and when it comes to Kitty, we do see that she was able to spend some quality time with Courtney Ross for her birthday to the point where Courtney had given her a brand new car to go to Paris, a nice restaurant like Kitty Pride had a really good birthday in this entire chapter for Excalibur. Now, when it comes to Excalibur, they're really happy about the idea of finally being back home in their reality. Everything is great, but here's the problem. As soon as they go outside of their home and they look up in the sky, they see Galactus. And this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. But guys, see y'all next time. Later.